Hey, this is what Rosie has to wake up to every day. You ready? As I sit here in the presence of my post hagen Mr. misdemeanor, I feel it's somewhat appropriate to reflect on my hopes, my dreams, my refusal to believe Jeff Goldblum's Apple Power Book could ever have infected the alien mothership via a USB connection. But how are you? How's your esteem? You're on the internet, so I'm assuming it's low. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Buffy worked at the Double Meat Palace and that old lady kept ordering the cherry pie, but she turned out to be a penis demon, and so Buffy had to leave her job? Well, I'm in a similar situation, and long story short, I am now a lady of leisure. Ever since Austria, I realised life is just too short not to be doing what you love, and even though there's a risk of failure, that never stopped Sister Mary Clarence from turning that nun choir around, nor did it stop Laura Dix in every single one of her life endeavours, so... So I returned from my travels and told work I won't be returning, and tealess internet celebrities don't work their notice. Nor do we ride buses, ever, or order from Five Guys Burgers and Fries, like why would I order Five Guys? So, gentle viewers, you're asking what that means. Well, that means I've got all the time in the world to do YouTube, which means more videos! Yeah! An income that's solely reliant on my own creativity! Yeah! We are gonna go in an entirely new direction, or maybe the same direction, only harder. Aren't you just so comforted that I'm going to be doing this full time? It's not like I'm going to run out of things to say. I always have something to say about something. Like you, right now. I have something to say about you. Your face is so great that it makes me want to touch it. In your face. On your face. Around, around it. Did you wash it before I touched it? Okay, that's fine. I keep hand sanitizer in my kitchen just in case Flynn has an accident or Rosie has an accident. So, okay. So that means lots to look forward to, including um, more movie reviews on my new blog, details later, thank you. More videos in general and the possibility of an entirely new channel. Oh, the possibilities are endless. They're ending there for now though. If I could give you a piece of advice for today, it would probably be always floss behind your ears and never go outside because it's unsafe always unless you're a vampire slayer when it comes to cyberbullying if you're being cyberbullied um it's really easy to not be don't go on the internet pretty simple actually um if you want to play the internet game the best way of playing it is to not play it you heard it here first i reiterated it from something else i heard Whatever. So guys, guess what's coming up? It's only Ros Weglin, the YouTube event in London that we have organised for you guys. If you wanted tickets, you can't have them because they're all gone. So you clearly weren't fast enough. You know what I said about cyberbullying, about staying off the internet? Well, you should have gone on the internet because that's where they were. I had my own merchandise made. There will be tiger ones and dino ones in all different colours. Go on to my Instagram if you want to have another little look. They will be available for all of your fashion needs. I've only got 100 of them, so you guys better be quick or punch someone else for theirs. As for the dress code for Ros Weglin, I suggest having one um, that will consist of clothes. Oh, I have a lot of time now in my own head. Maybe I'll just share all that with you. Maybe that's what the other channel could be, like my dear diary, where you get to hear all of my insecurities as funny and as demeaning as they might be. Right now I'm a little worried because I had a shower earlier and really got down there and you know when you just walk around in the middle of the day and then water just falls out of you and you're like, ah, it's in my period. Sometimes I don't think there's a place for me on the internet. Or in the world. I just don't know what to do with myself. Um, take care of yourself. Make sure you don't die, um, ever. <laughs>